A nonprofit is suing the Durham County Sheriff's Office over public records. Emancipate NC says they asked for jail policies and reviewed documents that were too heavily redacted. WRL's Monica Casey was in the courtroom today for the arguments. Monica, this case could last a while, but what do we know so far? Yeah, Dan, that's right. Here in Durham County Court today, the judge denied Emancipate NC's motion for a preliminary injunction, but he also denied the sheriff's office's motion to dismiss, which means this case will continue to move forward. After hearing of troubling conditions in the Durham County Jail, Emancipate NC's public records request to the Sheriff's Office yielded some heavily redacted documents like this. Now they're suing for more transparency. UNC law students Nikolai Wise and John Shangber argued before the judge. The jail is a public institution, taxpayer funded, uh, elected officials, um, and so the jail should be uh, regulated in a way that the public is aware of. So we're trying to get to some of those more policy goals of trying to understand what are what are conditions supposed to be like and then also the following argument being what are they actually like. They were joined by Emancipate NC strategic director Elizabeth Simpson. She is also interim director of the UNC Law School's Civil Legal Assistance Clinic. It's already been 13 months and that has harmed Emancipate NC's ability to sort of evaluate conditions in the jail, advise people living there and sort of figure out what next steps are in advocacy. Durham County Attorney Curtis Massey argues disclosing the policies is a security risk. You put it out there, then it lets people examine those policies and look for flaws, look for loopholes. How can they be exploited, whether for escapes, contraband, or attacks, even within the facility? A spokesperson for the sheriff's office wrote in a statement that only six of the 61 policies were redacted, writing, quote, these are legitimate safety and security concerns. Ultimately, a judge will review the redacted policies and procedures to determine what, if any, additional information will be released as appropriate. We have that full statement on our website. Dan. All right, Monica Casey, keep us updated live in Durham. Thank you.